guys, welcome back. This is Anthony Tahada, your local Orlando realtor, and today we are in the heart of Davenport, right off the 27 at Forest Lake. It is a gorgeous community by Seasons, which is Richmond American Homes, and we are in the Amalite today, which is a four to six bedroom, three and a half baths, a two story home with two car garage, 3,030 square feet, and the price is starting at 421. 950 at the time of video now lots in this community can go from 4,000 and up and the HOA is $10 a month but there's also a CDD of 120 monthly now stay tuned so I can show you this gorgeous home but first if you can help us out press the subscribe and alert buttons down below because it really does help us out and let's go on and see this home hey guys so here we are at the Amulite and I love the way this home looks with the peaks and designs and the sharp roof lines. Also, this is your garage here, which is a two car garage, your coach light. Um, I love the paneling on the side of the top side of the home, uh, added with the texture on the bottom side of the home. But heading in, you will see that we have a small foyer right here, but we also have this modern door with this glass slat and this interesting color of green. It's a blue green. It's a blue green. <laughs> but we also have a electrical outlet here if you want to put Christmas lights. So heading into this home, now just keep in mind, I always warn you guys that when we do these models, they are highly upgraded. So, you know, some of these things can be added at Design Center, but the home, wow, Pam. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but the home, as you see it, is very highly upgraded, okay? Now, I wanted to keep this a surprise. I didn't tell you in the intro and I didn't tell you now, but as soon as you come into the front of the home, you get a in-law, mother-in-law, next generation suite. I guess that's what we call the mix here, right? So heading in, it's in the living room for the next gen suite. This is fantastic. I love, actually, I love the windows, how they're designed with the flat open side on one side and then that wide window that you can open up on the other. Go ahead, Pam. Yeah, it gives it more character. Yeah, I like that. It's very different. Um, obviously, so if you have an elderly mom or dad or even a college student, they have their own private space in here. And even if you're just a professional that works at home, imagine having a room where you have an office space here, maybe a bedroom and your own bathroom. That's fantastic. See, a guy like me that does videos, that would be my studio. <laughs> but let's go show you my studio. <laughs> All right, guys, so you would enter here. And I, honestly, this would be perfect for an elderly parent, right? It's flat surface. They don't got to go up and down stairs. But you can see the nice space of the room. You have a walk-in, half walk-in closet here, right? And then you have a nice long window here. I, I do like this builder's windows. They're it like is. wider, right? Yes. So there's like a wide feel here for this windows on the top and the bottom. It is very interesting. It's a little bit different than what you usually see on the market. Now, this is almost like an ensuite because you do have your own bathroom here, which is a full service bath. And you see me and Pam there. <laughs> I didn't like hey. <laughs> and then we have tile about six, seven feet up. Of course, we have a tub set, right? The commode and that beautiful vanity with that quartz on top. Very nice. Now heading back out, guys, we come through my studio, <laughs> back into my living room, <laughs> and then back to the normal tour of the home, which is back to the hallway that we started from. And now we have a very long hallway. Pam, would you say how long this was? It's 42 feet long. Wow, that's five, pretty long. Five feet wide. Five feet wide. Five feet is what you get typically on the sides of the homes between your neighbors, right? Before the uh, property line. <laughs> You get it in the middle of the home now here too. So that's pretty awesome. But let's start with the Harry Potter room on this side, which is the closet that goes under the stairs. Very deep in. So Christmas. Oh, it goes a little bit more over here. Yeah. So think Christmas decorations, Halloween decorations, water, storage, all that stuff. We come straight across into our half bath or our Potter room, right? So your guests, if you're having a game night down in the living room, they have somewhere to use the facilities. Then we move forward into our open area. Now, 
Our open area, Pam, how big is this open area? 38 by 14. 38 by 14 from wall to wall. And let's start with the right side with this gorgeous, I love the way they set this up. Windows all the way around. This is the family gathering room area. Very elegant looking, love how they designed it. But look, this is pretty big furniture, guys. I mean, this coffee table is big, the sofas. We even got a co big cadenza with the TV here. And we have little, look, cadenzas even on the back. So that's even extra, foot extra footage that you have back there. So this can even be wider than it looks right now. So love it. I love how the windows surround it, letting the natural light in, which flows all the way in to our informal dining area right here. Now, what I do love is here's our informal, right? But you also have this that ties in the kitchen, which is this large serving top. Go ahead, Ben. 11 feet long. 11 feet long is this serving top and your cabinets run across the top of that. So it also ties in with the backsplash that you will see in this kitchen. Here's your island. So we're just flowing into the kitchen now. <laughs> here's your island. Large sink here, gooseneck, right? Love this quartz that they use, very nice. But as you can see, your, your dishwasher is on this side here. You have your cabinets here. You have your stainless steel appliances like your microwave that vents out and then electric top and oven. That beautiful quartz runs through. And then as I was telling you from the other side, that shell type of backsplash runs across here as well very nice touches that they put on this home. Interesting enough, right? You do have the refrigerator cubby here, but when you go in, there is a area here that is like a drop and stop butler pantry. So you have the cabinets, you have a window, more cabinetry down here. I'm suspecting this is, oh, your pantry space. It's a walk-in pantry. Yeah, there you go. And the other thing to point out too is that you have another six feet of countertop. Another six feet of counter from the 11 to six and then whatever's on that side with the stove. Lots of cabin tops here. But this is the door to your two car garage. Now we're going to back up a little bit, right? Come back around to the kitchen area because what I want to show you as well is very interesting. So again, I, I don't know if you watch the channel enough, you know that I love pocket doors that open like this instead of one side to the other. That's just my preference, but I think it's a beautiful option. But also they show you the option where you can enclose your covered lanai, which is fantastic. Now this looks like a extended lanai, right? Because you have furniture here and you have furniture here, and then you have the door to go out to your yard space. So this is a very nice spot. Go ahead, Pam. 24 by nine. 24 by nine is the covered and enclosed patio lanai here. Very nice, it's a great option to use. And then you can see where the two trees are and the tarp on the back, how big the yard setting is. So of course there is space to do a patio in the back or a fire grill or summer kitchen or even a pool if you needed to. Heading out back through these beautiful packet doors, we're gonna go towards the stairway and this is the second floor stairs. We, we just passed it. I didn't even warn you this time. I was just like, yeah, we'll get to it. <laughs> but we're going to go up the stairs and I'm going to show you the second floor now. Now, guys, as we head up the stairs, remember that Publix is only three minutes away. Walgreens is also three minutes away, which is US 27, which has more shops and eateries. Disney is 17 miles away, which is 30, a 39 minute drive. Universal is 50 minutes away. The airport is 50 minutes away and downtown Orlando is an hour from this location. Hey guys, so here we are at the top of the home, the second story, and we're going to save this side for last, but let's start with the loft space. Now I love how gorgeous this loft space is. Look, we have this L couch here. We have sort of like bench coffee seats, and then we have a desk here. And the TV, of course, you need that with the cadenza, but the two windows for natural light. And Pam, how big is this space? 
11 by 18. 11 by 18. I mean, this is a nice, comfy place where you can come out of your bedrooms. And but it's also you. airy. It feels it is. very airy. It does. It does. And, and that's part of the design. I think the light walls and everything like that. I like how the steps, if you look this way, how the stairwell has that nice, elegant look with the pictures that they did. Very nice. And of course, any stairwell is going to look good without a pony wall. But if you upgrade to, of course, the wood railing with the spindles, it's going to just look open. So I love that. Now we have this section here. Let's go down the hallway. And we have our utility closet here, right? But we also have our laundry room domestic suite. And it's huge, huge. So we have a window for natural lighting. We have another closet immediately to the right. Yeah, this is a walk-in closet. It is a walk-in linen closet. <laughs> and then we have, of course, our space for our washer and dryers, cabinetry on top. We have that quartz that was downstairs that ran up here in the white cabinets, but a very, very, very deep utility sink as well. And this is a big laundry room, Pam. How big is this? 10 by seven. 10 by seven. I think Pam is trying to show you the <laughs> The utility sink. <laughs> I'm trying. Yep. Yeah. So, but across from that laundry room, right, we get to the first bedroom of the second floor, and we have enough space for a condenser and mirror, of course. But of course, we have that unique looking with the iron brand in the middle window that faces outside and lets in that natural light. And then we have that half step in closet across over, from over here. There you go. Very nice. But I do like the size of this room. It is a very nice size room. And the carpets are not cheap. The carpet is that plushy. I you know you can't tell on video, but it's very plushy. It feels nice <laughs> on our feet. Yeah. So we go back out. And what we're going to do is hit the left side, right, from the loft. And let's go straight to the full service bath that they have up here behind the loft space, right? That tile from downstairs runs in. We have the dual vanities. Then we have tile about six, seven feet up. And we also have the tub as well. And as you back out, it's a very long bathroom. Now, on the left side of that bathroom, we head into a one of the bigger secondary bedrooms here. Now, I do love this secondary bedroom. Why? Because it has three bay windows, which was such a smart design for night light getting into the room. We have a regular window over here. And then we must have an architect in the house, you know. You gotta have one. Yeah. <laughs> so for the architect in your family, this would be the bedroom for them. Obviously, we also have your half step in here, which is very nice. Very cool. Now stepping away, we have another bedroom directly across from that bathroom. And as we step in, Straight around the corner, we have that half step in closet. So let's get that out of the way first. But we also have, of course, a window. You need that natural light coming in, right? And you get nice stands, a full-size bed, fits very easily in this room. Lots of space in between, as you can tell. So lots of space in these bedrooms. They feel really good. And like Pam said, very airy design. Finally, guys, we are to the most favorite part uh, for me of the house. And this is your primary bedroom suite. This is huge. It is big. It, 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 we have, you know, the cadenza looks lost. We have a bench in front of the, the, the king size bed. Windows lined up. We have two back here, two up here in the front for natural light. You can see how big the furniture is. And the room is what? 16 by 17. 16 by 17, guys. I have to, I have to pay him because you can't get it all. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. If you had a motorcycle that didn't fit in the garage, you can put it right here. <laughs> so, guys, that leads us into our primary bath suite, which, I mean, it keeps going with space. Look at this. Just this little area alone, I'm spinning, and I'm a big guy. I'm spinning, <laughs> but you got this wide open. Then you have the two vanities, long mirror, a little window for natural lighting, right? And then I'm gonna open up the glass door for Pam to show you your shower stall, 
with tile about six, seven feet up. Very nice. And these doors are very elegant. I love the little U handle that they have. No, it's right bathroom. There. It's great. Yeah, it's a nice size bathroom. Now, we have our commode here. You know what that looks like, but let's get to the closet spaces. Here's your pan, uh, I was gonna say pantry. You don't need food up here, sorry. This is your linen closet. But you could have food. Well, you could put a little refrigerator right there, have your, you know, coffee, you know. Oh, that's true. You could do like a little coffee barista stand here. I don't know if I like it in the bathroom, but. You know. Yeah, it's like the hotels. Oh, that, that's true, that's true. <laughs> but this is the, this is, no kidding around. This is the spot right here, guys. Look how big this closet is. It's another room. It's another room. I, I mean, I would use the linen closet for my clothes and I would put a game room or a studio here. Pool table. This yeah. is ridiculous. This is 10 by 15. 10 by, that's a room. And No, this is a garage. Yeah. <laughs> this is where you park the motorcycle. This is amazing. This is like so big and it's so like this day and age with the prices and all that, you don't really get this unless you get a luxury home this kind of size of a closet. So here you go, you know? Yeah, you that's, could, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, so this is a great, great closet. All right, and guys, stay with me for a couple seconds because I got a little bit more information for you. So let's get right to that. All right, guys, so that was the Amulite by Seasons, which is Richmond American Homes. And if you love this home, if it makes sense for you, if the area makes sense for you, give me a call, 407-790-0929, Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor. Subscribe and alert, and I'll see you guys on the next video.